EPY Empowered's YouTube channel. Today, we have a 30-minute power yoga flow for you. Um, today, I have Alan with me demonstrating the postures and doing this class with you. And if you have a block today, um, go ahead and, and pick that up. We'll go ahead and get started. Let's start off in child's pose. Reach your arms all the way to the top of your mat. Take your knees to the outside edges of your mat and bring your big toes to touch. Elongate your spine and relax your jaws. Relax your face and relax your eyes and get in tune with your body at the moment. Feel the physical sensations of your body. I want you to extend your arms further forward to the top of your mat and sink your butt and your hips lower towards your heels. Take your arms and your hands to the right side of your mat. Like you lift your spine and your chest up and place it over your right knee and extend deeply more with your left arm. Breathe here. Again, noticing any tones, any body sensations. Walk your arms and hands back to center and take your arms and hands to the opposite side. Take it to your left. Anchor your hips towards your heels, and then extend your right arm a little further than your left arm. And come back to center. We'll take a couple more rounds of breaths here. We'll do three more breaths here in this child's pose. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale and exhale. One more time, deep breath in and deep breath out. Downward facing dog, downward facing dog. So walk your dog and Find looseness and some energetic quality through your hamstrings. And I'm going to have you um, pause and we'll do one leg at a time. So Alan, bend your right knee and press your right heel towards the ground and bend your, uh, there you go. So press your right heel to the ground and lift your right hip up higher. Sometimes I, I like telling my students I like doing one leg at a time because you could pay all attention, every focus on just that one leg and change. Extend your left heel towards your mat and to the floor and bend your right knee. Once again, lift your left hip up to your ceiling. And come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come up to high push-up pose. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's repeat that four more times. Breathe in, high push up, high plank. Pull your core in toward your spine. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, high plank. And it's very deliberate. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do one more. Inhale, high. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Downward facing dog. Ragdoll pose. Walk forward. And grab your opposite elbows. Sway side to side. And wrap your hands behind the base of your uh, skull. And it's almost like you wrap your hands around your neck and pull your head towards your toes. And for those of you who are restricted in the hamstrings, you keep your knees bent. There's no reason to um, rush the process. So just keep your knees bent. Release your hands back to the floor and we'll create five halfway lifts. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Reach the crown of your head forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Very deliberate now. Inhale, halfway, and let's pause. Round your shoulders up towards your ears and back. Send your scapula in towards the center line and press your, your butt back towards the back edge of your mat. And you can see, Alan, he's now beginning to straighten his knees. He's found a little bit more warmth, and, and you could definitely do that. Forward fold all the way, bend your knees, and we'll rise up to mountain pose. I want you to root down through um, the four corners of your feet, spread your toes wide, and energetically squeeze your thighs in towards the other. And there's a natural suction cup that I've seen Alan do, but I want you to pull your belly button to your spine and lift it up towards your heart. Lift your sternum up to your ceiling and expand all 10 of your fingers up to the ceiling. And bring your hands together in front of your heart. We're going to do three half sun salutation A's. Inhale, mountain pose. Forward fold, hinge through your hip creases. Remember that, hinge through your hip creases. Halfway, inhale. Forward bend, exhale. Root your feet, rise up, mountain pose, lift. Immediately, forward fold, exhale. Lift, halfway, and fold. Inhale, lift, mountain pose, maybe a slight back bend, lift, exhale, forward bend, this is your third half sun salutation A. Lift halfway, exhale, and fold. Rise, mountain pose. And bring your hands together in front of your heart. Three sun salutation A's. 
Inhale, mountain pose. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway breathe in and step back, high plank. For the first one, we'll hold. Like lift your belly up to your spine and up to the ceiling. And if you take a look at Ellen, press up through your upper back. So there's a slight, a very small cat pose. Let's prepare for that low push up. Shift your weight forward slightly, low push up pose. Cobra or upward facing dog. And we'll pause here in upward facing dog. So I'm watching Alan, he's adjusting his neck, he's feeling all these movements. And when he's ready, and then when you're ready, make your way into downward facing dog. Because this is a 30 minute class, we're gonna take just one breath here in downward facing dog, take a deep breath in, exhale it out, make your way to the top of your mat, into your halfway lift, right? Inhale, exhale, and you bow. Reach up, mountain pose. And we're gonna immediately go back to your forward fold. So we keep on moving energetically, halfway, breathe in, and high plank, low plank, chaturanga, up dog, or for those of you who modify to cobra, and make your way back, downward facing dog. One breath, full breath in, and exhale a full breath out. Walk, step, or some of you who float, halfway breathe in, exhale, bow deep. Rise, a mountain pose, inhale. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. This is your last in salutation A. Inhale, mountain pose, exhale and bow. Lift and take your vinyasa. Step back, planks high and low, back bend, downward facing dog. We'll rest here. We'll go into some warrior poses, but pause for two more breaths. Breathe in and root your heels closer to the floor. So they may not touch and it's okay. It's the act of grounding down through your heels. Warrior one, right foot. We'll pause. We'll observe what's going on. For those of you who practice, I want to remind you that grounding and, and getting earth is so important in, in the warrior series. Send your right hip back and take your left hip forward, square your hip to the front of your mat. Take another deep breath in, accentuate your posture, exhale, high plank, low plank, up dog and downward facing dog. Warrior one, left side. I'm looking at Alan's feet, and they're firmly planted. I, I see his muscles engage, and I want you to do that out there too, is it's almost like stamp. I use this analogy about um, those seals back then when they would write and they would seal with a wax seal, and they would make that stamp, and I want you to do that with your feet. Create like that seal, press it. Inhale, lift your sternum up to the ceiling, expose your neck to the ceiling. High push-up pose, let it go. Low push-up. Upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Immediately we're gonna go to warrior two, right foot. And this is going to be good, so you'll see the backside of Alan's posture.
So extend your arms as far as you can. He continues on with his base, so press your feet, uh, root them down towards the floor, and energetically squeeze your legs in together. So the energy comes in, radiate your arms out. Lift the tops of your head up to your ceiling and set your eyes to a point. And usually I, I say, almost like your right middle finger. Hold, breathe in. Inhale, lift your arms slightly above horizontal. Cartwheel your arms, high push-up pose. Low push-up, upward facing dog, downward dog. Warrior two, left side this time. Bring the same energetic quality to these warrior poses. These warrior pose, I tell my students, are meant to be firm, powerful, you know. We do power yoga, and when you look at Alan's stance, there's a, there's a, he's like he's off to battle. <laughs> squeeze her energetically and i see his energetic quality there's he is there is some sort of trembling accentuate the weight the pose inhale lift your arms slightly above horizontal cartwheel your arms high push-up pose and take a vinyasa low push-up upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog three-legged dog Extend your right leg up as high as you can. And extend through your right heel. Two more breaths. So we're just gonna stay in this three-legged dog. We're not gonna open up the hip today. One more time, extend through your heel, press your hands down. Bring your right knee forward or your right foot to your right hand crescent lunge. Let's start with your hands and place your hands onto your hips. Neutralize your tailbone and slightly draw it down towards the floor. Make your hips heavy and bend your left knee towards the floor slightly, just about there. And inhale, straighten your leg. These are subtle movements. If you look at Alan, lower down again and come on up. One more time, lower and rise. Extend your arms up to the ceiling. Take your arms out to a letter T. Eagle arms, bring your left arm under. Let's do that. Raise your elbows to the height of your shoulders. And bring your forearms towards the front of your room or whatever direction you're looking at. One more breath, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, unwind your arms, sweep them overhead, and high push-up pose. Low push-up, up dog, and downward facing dog. Just to get feedback from Alan, how are you feeling? Is your body warming up? It is warming up, you know, and um, we're about what, Mark, Damon? About 20 minutes, and this is a great practice. It's, it's just to get it moving. Lift your uh, opposite leg, left leg to the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Be firm, extend. And since this is a 30-minute class, I'm gonna encourage you now to start creating as much heat, give as much as you have into these postures, press your hands deeper to the mat and press it forward. Crescent lunge, left. Take your hands back to your hips. Take your hands to your hip, your pubic bone. Lift that up. 
Lift that up towards your chest. Send your tailbone down. Let's do those heavy hips. We call them heavy hips. Bend your right knee slightly. And then bring it back up. These subtle changes heat up that hip flexor lower. And rise back up. And you notice it's mindful and slow. And you lower. And you come back up. Take your arms up to the ceiling. Bring your arms to a letter T. Eagle arms left over, right under. We talked about foundation during those um, warrior ones and twos, and it's the same thing with crescent lunge. There's still that intensity, and the and it's a drive. It's like you drive your left knee over your heel. One more breath. Exhale, inhale, arms over a head, high push-up pose. So we're going to have one more strong pose. That's going to be side plank. Let's start with your right side, Alan. Anchor your right hand, turn and face the wall. And he's taking... A, a bigger variation. This is definitely doesn't need to be this, this big with that lifted left leg. You could always take your uh, top leg towards your uh, base. If you take a look at his right hand, it's slightly past his shoulder, so it's slightly forward. It's not directly over it. Take one more breath, and with ease, can you take your left hand and softly place it to the floor? There we go. Intention. Let's do the opposite side. Let's turn and face the camera. Side plank. There's a, a full extension through the body. Lift your right hip as high as you can up towards your ceiling and express and fan your toes. One more breath, and very deliberately, bring your right hand softly. Let's do one last vinyasa, low push-up pose. Upward facing dog. Let's hold up dog. And when you're ready, downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and drop to your knees. And let's, let's use this pad for you, Alan. Good. And we'll come into um, a version of camel, okay? Any version of camel, uh, those of you who practice um, a lot out there, you find your own depth of camel. For today, I'm not gonna have Alan reach towards his heels. Uh, sprint or toe your toes. Uh, brace your hands behind your low back, right? Right above the pelvic rim. Draw your pelvis or your pubic bone up or your hip points up towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And lift your sternum up to the ceiling and expose your throat to your ceiling. And this is where we're going to, this is all I'm gonna demonstrate today. And for those of you who have a fuller expression of camel, I invite you to go there. Soften your throat, soften your eyes, and go ahead, release. Heroes or simple seat. Just, just bring back to normal, bring your hands to your thighs, lift your uh, head now up. Let's come in a downward facing dog. Half pigeon, right side. So Alan is, is, is pretty flexible with his, his hips. He's, um, he does a lot of meditating, and he, I, I, when I see him, 
uh, he's, he's always seated in a cross-legged and uh, not that we're supposed to envy in yoga, but I, I do envy his open hips. <laughs> um, rest your forearms to the floor. And, and for some of you, you could also extend your arms forward. We're not gonna stay here too long. Usually when we have a 75-minute uh, or 90-minute class, we have the luxury of staying in half pigeon for three to five minutes. But because we're, we're just cutting this class short, we're just gonna be here for just a little bit of openness to that right hip. Let's do one more breath, Alan. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Come to downward facing. Doesn't that seem short? <laughs> Let's do left side, half pigeon. And for those of you who are, are not as open in the hip, definitely you don't need to bring your shin parallel to the top edge of your mat, but rather just create this um, not so deep angle. Actually, I could actually demonstrate this. Yep. So just more like, but you know, his, his leg is, shin is parallel, but right, take that heel almost towards your on the thigh. Again, relax, breathe into any tightness through that um, left hip. Let's take one more deep breath in here. Exhale it out. Let's come to downward facing dog. Make your way onto your sits bones, and we'll go ahead and um, face the front. We'll do Janushasana. Uh, Extend your right leg out. Tuck your left leg in. So your left leg is in like tree pose. Uh, root your sits bones and internally rotate your right thigh inward. There we go. Inhale, extend your arms up to your ceiling. You, look, this is mountain pose. Forward to bend. You use bend through the hip crease. Those of you who have restricted hamstrings, bend your knees. Anchor. And what Alan is doing, he's externally rotating his left thigh. Come back up. Exchange. Tall spine. And go ahead, release. Anchor down through your hip. And come on up. Sit in a cross-legged position. Seated spinal twist. Root your sits bones. Pull your core into your spine. Lift your spine. Lift through the crown of your head up to your ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Twist to your right. Seated spinal twist right. And change, twist to your left. And make your way back to center. Find your way into Shavasana. So this is, again, uh, just a 30-minute session. We're about in our 30-minute mark here. For those of you who have time, uh, go ahead and stay a little longer than, than, third, uh, than, than what we're going to allow. I'm going to have Alan here in about a minute, Savasana. So 
allow your legs and your toes and feet to splay outwards. Anchor your hip points, the back parts of your um, hips to make contact with the earth. Allow your shoulder blades to be heavy. Notice the back of your head making its contact with the floor. And like I said, for those of you who want to stay in Shavasana, stay there. Alan, go ahead, wiggle your toes and your fingers. Hug your knees into your chest. And make your way into a cross-legged sit or a simple seat or heroes. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Thank you for joining us in this 30-minute power yoga class. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste.